were at a manufacturing plant of one of PepsiCo's Frito-Lay divisions. Here in Modesto, California, they're going through a complete transformation to a near zero emissions facility. We'll be following a Cummins electric box truck as it goes from charging to operating around the facility here and delivering snacks in the Modesto area. This is about the fifth largest manufacturing and distribution operation of Frito-Lay. We have just over 1,000 employees, about 500,000 square feet. We have seven manufacturing lines that produce over 168 million pounds of product every year. We're very proud of the fact that the trucks look sharp and they work great. They're extremely reliable and allow us to deliver on time all the time. My name is Joseph Vinueva and I've been driving for Frito-Lay for three years. It operates the same way as a diesel, it's just the EV is cleaner for the environment. They're quieter, plug them in once you're done at the end of the day, come back in the morning, they're ready to go. Biggest thing to get used to, the electric trucks, they accelerate a lot faster. There's no lag on them, so that took a little getting used to. Also, the regenerative braking was a little odd at the beginning, but now I you know, use that more than I would their regular brakes. The electric box trucks, it's a great duty cycle for electrification. The uptime for this particular vehicle has been really solid. It's been on daily routes five days a week, but allows us to optimize the charge cycle and minimize our overall utility costs. We've got electric yard tractors here as well, and they've got a little bit different duty cycle. So we've absolutely learned a lot about interoperability testing. We've been with Frito from the beginning. They have close to two megawatts of solar here on site. One of the ways that we partner with them is by offering them off-peak rates so that they can take advantage of time when power is cheaper to charge up their vehicles. We're learning alongside them, learning how these batteries will integrate with their grid, how we can best serve them, not just with a reliable power, but power that really meets their needs in terms of charging times and charging durations. We have it set up so these are free to charge. So all you have to do is walk up, plug into the truck, and it will automatically take off on its own as long as we have the MAC address to the truck. They don't have the noise like they did with the diesel tractor. They don't have the exhaust smell of a diesel tractor, and they probably outperform the diesels. We're up around 99% uptime on the vehicle, and it really is leveraging the fact that we have an existing platform. Um, it's demonstrating that it can be used on different applications, and it's available. This truck is a demonstration truck. It uses our already in production power drive system. The key thing to remember is that adding more battery adds weight, so there is a, a compromise per payload. This is the high voltage battery system. We worked with the fleet to optimize the size of the battery, which gives you significant weight versus range implications. And then if I follow the flow of, of energy, you have the, the traction system. There's a lot of optimization that goes into here. For example, working to optimize regenerative braking uh, for the specific route for the fleet. We were very pleased to see that the drivers reacted very positively to the system, how the truck it handles, how quiet it is, how uh, smooth acceleration was, and, and how optimized uh, regenerative braking was, which is actually a point where we came back and optimized that even further uh, with collaboration with the fleet. The nature of the drive cycle, the pickup and delivery cycle, is very much aligned to how battery electric systems operate, not just from a battery standpoint, but with the regenerative side as well. Usually we have four or five stores we do every day, sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on business needs. The efficiency of it is amazing because you just plug in and go and come in in the morning, your truck's ready to go, fully charged, ready to go to work.